Today is June 17th and about nine weeks ago we bought this RV behind me and we leave tomorrow to go across America or at least the western United States and work along the way. So I thought I'd take you on a little tour of what we did for the last nine weeks to get ready to go and here we go. This is the motorhome we're going to be traveling in. This is a 2005 Sunseeker motorhome. It has a Ford front end with a V10 motor in it. It's a Ford F50. It has 362 horsepower and 10 cylinders. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna walk around and show you the outside, then I'm gonna show you the inside. So right here, if you see this angle, this is a push out or a pull out that is extended so that the inside has more space. When we are on the road, this will be retracted in and then uh, we'll be able to drive down the road and then when we get where we go, we push that out. Underneath here, there's some storage area that uh, kind of hard to get to, so we'll put stuff in there that we're not gonna use all that much. Moving on down this side, we have our utilities. This is where we put in the gasoline. It's a gas engine, not a diesel. It's got one tire in the front and it's got two tires in the rear. These are our utilities right here. That is the sewer and it has a holding tank. So if you're hooked up to utilities and you have a hose right to a, um, to a sewer, then you can just hook the hose up. If not, you hook a hose to that, to a pump out station, and you drain your holding tank. This here knob on the left is where we hook up to water if we have a hose so that our shower and our sink and toilet and everything else has running water. If we aren't somewhere we can hook up to a hose, we fill a onboard water tank with the center one here. That holds about 50 gallons and it's stored under our bed. When you go on the inside, you'll see the bedroom. You'll Underneath that bed, there's a 50 gallon water holding tank. This third one on the right here, that is to flush out the holding tank for the toilet. So when you're all done and you wanna clean out, you put water to that and it goes around and washes the inside of the holding tank so it doesn't smell. All right, this is an outside shower. If you're camping somewhere and you're all dirty and you wanna go inside, don't wanna get inside dirty or you're full of sand or you wanna wash your dog, that's an outside shower. Uh, here's some of our storage on this side. Uh, you can see right now we're hooked to electrical and that gets plugged in right here. Uh, the, uh, what I've got stored on this side are at the bottom here, all the hoses I'm gonna need for water. This is the electrical, and this is the tube that will go to the sewer. All right, now, moving back. We ended up purchasing a trailer to go behind the motorhome uh, to carry our bikes. We were gonna build a box and that didn't work out, so at the last minute we ended up customizing a little trailer. These are our bikes here. This will be our main source of transportation. These uh, are electric bikes, so we can use them just as bicycles, or the, if you pedal them, the, uh, you can have power assist, so they actually help you um, pedal faster and easier. And then if you don't feel like pedaling at all, you can just hit this knob right here and you'll be on full electric. Uh, they go 20 miles an hour and should go about 50 miles. So when we have to go sightseeing or we have to go to the grocery store or we want to go sightseeing and we have to go to the grocery store, something like that, or if we want to do both, these will be the bikes that we take uh, to go do that with. Um, going inside the trailer here, I have been spending the last couple weeks customizing this, and I'll take you on a tour. So starting on the left side, you can see here I built two boxes. The front tires of the bicycles go in those two boxes and secures them. I screwed them to the floor there so they're real secure, and that holds up the bikes. And then we also have the bungee here to bungee the bikes to the side of the uh, of the trailer there. Up here I built this box. This is my garage. 
Um, I have to the far right a pump, an air pump for the bikes and for rafts, things like that. Next to that I have all the nuts and bolts and bungees you could ever want in case I need something while I'm on the road or want to fix something. To the left of that is my toolbox with all the tools in it. The red one has the electric drill and the batteries for the drill and the pumps. And then this bag holds the batteries and everything we need to run the bikes. So this is up here what I consider the garage. Going to the back here, and this is why I'm really glad we got a trailer. We needed this extra room. To the very left in the back, the orange and the brown, those are our everyday chairs for around the campfire. They actually have rockers on them, so they're really comfortable. We're really excited to have those. They take a lot of room, so we definitely needed this trailer. In the middle are two lounger chairs, so you can relax, take a nap out in the sun. And in the back right there is a large six-man tent. Now, we won't really be using this as a tent. That is going to be our office while we are in the campground. We're going to set that up and put two desks and two chairs, and we'll have electricity and internet. Um, it's tall enough to stand in, so you'll see more of that later when we get to our first campground, but that in the back there is the tent, and that's gonna be our office. So, we are all ready to work remotely. Up here at the top are some guest chairs. There's some small chairs that we'll pull out if needed. Below that, the four brown bags are tables. They fold up into these bags, which are great, but they work real nice. Two of them will be used for our desks, and we'll use the other two for our campsite to cook on and put food on and stuff like that. Moving back here, I've got some storage. This will all be to set up our campsite and those two yellow totes. Um, here we've got kind of a, a, a mismosh of stuff. That bag is for the puppy, for the dog. So when we go on our bikes, we'll put her in there and she can come along with us and go on adventures. Um, we got some other stuff up there like lights, headlights for uh, for when we drive at, drive at night on the bikes or um, walk around and go on tours or what have you. Um, some rope for the dog, a flashlight, some knee pads if I have to get down and work on something or get underneath the motorhome or work on these specifically. These yellow blocks, they build like Legos and you drive the motor up, motorhome up on them as needed to make it level. So if it's down on the right, you'll put a couple of these on the right for the back ones, get the bigger ones, and the front ones get the smaller ones, and you'll level the RV. This makes it nicer to sleep at night, walk around. Also, the refrigerator needs to be level to stay cold so the coolant can go around. So that's what those are for. Here we've got our two chairs that will be in the office that we will sit and work in. These are foldable garbage cans. Um, for outside at the campground and a beach chair. So this is the trailer and uh, everything that goes in it. Oh, and then here I'll move up to here. After getting the trailer, I realized that I need to be able to back it up. So we installed these cameras that I'll show you in the front how where, where that is but those will be used. I can watch the trailer as I'm going down the freeway, make sure there's not a flat tire or anything wrong with it, but also, most importantly, I can see the trailer while I'm backing it up. Haven't tried that yet. We'll see how that goes. And I think I need to practice that. Maybe that'll be another good video. All right, so the front of the trailer here. Oh, I thought about this going back here. And when I panned through this last shot, I don't know if you noticed my car, but just before the pandemic, I was a baller and I had just got this new Cadillac and these li nice license plates, Lyft limo. I was selling business cards during the day and driving Lyft at night. And uh, well, that all uh, went out the window with COVID and up in smoke. So uh, on to the next adventure here and uh, and gonna go still sell business cards remotely. All right, uh, moving on down. So this is the back storage. It actually goes all the way through to the other side, which is nice. And in here is all the stuff for barbecuing and cooking and outdoor life. Um, utensils and barbecue, uh, coals, that kind of stuff. 
in this container here or this area here is where the batteries are that has a house bank of batteries so if you don't have electricity and you want to just run on batteries you can run the water and uh, the lights on just battery power moving on down here this storage here uh, has the propane in it so the propane can run the hot water it can run the refrigerator uh, the refrigerant hot water can also be run off electricity. It just depends if you're plugged in and which is the most efficient way for you to run. This right here I have out to show you. This is what we've been working on. These speakers connect to um, the inside. So when you're playing the stereo, if you want to play the stereo outside, you can set these up when you're camping. And all this goes into this storage container. But most importantly, this set of wires here is about 50 feet of wire and um, cable for the computers um, to go into the office, into the tent that I was talking about. So you've got your ethernet, which is here, plugged in here, and the ethernet comes from the motorhome, and this whole board will then go into the office in the tent, and it'll provide our electricity and our ethernet. We also have wireless but ethernet is usually more stable, so we put ethernet throughout the motorhome to make this work. All right, up here is the hot water heater, and that again can be run off electricity or propane. In the front here, we have the door, and we'll go inside in a second, but this last compartment is where we keep all the things that we can do for entertainment you know like bocce ball and frisbee and all those kind of things so if we want to go uh, have some fun we can do that okay now for a tour of the inside um, we had lived on a boat in the past and one of the things we knew from living on a boat is that the way a motorhome or a boat comes from the factory is good for a family um, and it sleeps eight people usually or up to eight people and um, Not really that comfortable to live in so One of the things we did I'm trying to get a good angle here. One of the things we did Is we took out where these two chairs are we there's normally a um, Couch a couch and the couch turns into a bed a pull-out bed But it's not very comfortable when you want to sit and watch TV here um, or what have you so we actually extended this floor area this is part of that pop out that um, that I talked about that uh, goes in and out and I'll show you how that works later but we actually extended that out so that we could put these chairs in and we changed the configuration of this table from sitting um, from here to here looking at each other to an L shape so you can look out and you can also sit on the couch comfortably and watch TV and lounge around. So that makes it much more livable and one of the reasons um, why we knew we were gonna take out the carpet and everything else that um, we wanted to do it our way so that if we're gonna be in this for three months, we have to be able to live in it. Um, up here, we were really lucky. The people that owned this motorhome before us had paid for this upgrade of this entertainment center that most often is a bed up there um, so you can sleep eight people that would be two people two here that would have been a pull-out couch two here on the table that converts and then two in the master bedroom so we've converted this to now sleep two people instead of eight or six um, so I'll tell you more about that in a second um, this is where we drive of course and I'll come back here and go over the electronics with you of how the how the motorhome works uh, another thing we did while we were fixing this up is we put in some new countertops we uh, put in this cool microwave oven but it's more than a microwave it uh, it grills and it's convection oven and it roasts so haven't really got to use that yet we haven't been able to use anything we are leaving tomorrow and we we're going to learn all this while we're out but that gives us a whole bunch more ways to cook we also have a regular stove with stove tops on the top here and uh, an oven here which is also good for storage 
we have a refrigerator and a freezer so we will be filling this up tonight or tomorrow that's the freezer and this is the refrigerator all right moving on to the back we have a shower this is the shower um, let's see if I can get an angle of this shower I'm not sure I can but it's a pretty nice size shower for a motorhome it was yellow uh, we redid it in white to make it a little bit more modern again this was a 2005 RV and um, we fixed it up so that we could live in it uh, the best we could that was one of the projects that we did and uh, wasn't a big deal we left the current shower in there and just um, turned it from yellow to white here is the bedroom uh, the beds that come with these motorhomes are very very uncomfortable so we ordered a new bed and we have slept in this a couple nights to test it out we love it it's actually this is Gale side over here and on the right and it's soft and on the left side which is my side it's firm so uh, we were able to make it um, custom for both sides uh, because it's a motorhome and it's so small they make the corners round so you can get by this is interesting this is Gail's side she's got all this space over here and this is my side and I have just this little bit of space and she's about half my size but that's Princess Gail and she gets that side okay so this is what now this is what's hard this is a little bit smaller than our boat because we had turned a bedroom into a closet there this is Gail's um, closet space and she's got two up here uh, this is my closet space and I have two up here as well so that uh, that makes it a little bit tight for clothes again under the bed is where all the water is stored moving here is our bathroom Pretty nice bathroom, a couple cabinets there, and full-size toilet, and a nice sink area. Uh, again, we put new countertops on there, made it look nice. This, uh, if we wanted to, to, we can pull this closed here and uh, make the bedroom private if there's other people here and we want to get ready or what have you. Okay, so let's move on to how we had to, or what we had to do to make the electronics work so that we could work from this motorhome. Because in order for us to work, we have to have reliable internet. So um, I will get into that right after I show you the, how this is going to work here. We're using a pad here for our navigation, and we can also play music from that. Uh, like Pandora or YouTube, what have you. And that works Bluetooth with our radio here, which then um, pumps music throughout the cab. This right here um, is the backup camera. I showed you the backup cameras uh, for the trailer. And then we have a front camera. I may use some of that footage from the front camera for future videos, I'm not sure but it's always recording, so that's a safety thing as well. Um, one of the things that I'm really happy about is the stereo system. This, um, this stereo system allows us to have four volume controls. The front channel A is for the cab here, so when we're driving down the street, we can adjust that. Channel B does the living room here. Um, channel C does the bedroom so if you have all three of those on it sounds really great in here and D um, is for outside so if you don't want music outside you keep it off but if you want it outside you can turn it on so this is great it um, also works with the smart TV so when you're watching movies or what have you um, you'll have surround sound uh, it works from any telephone it works from the pad um, you can play internet, radio, you, you know, whatever music you would like. This <clears throat> is the, um, the box for television. I want to say cable box, but it's not cable. It's a uh, satellite box. So it has satellites on the top of the RV that go and find the satellites and then bring back television and uh, 
also has a DVR there so you can record television shows. And with the smart TV, you can always watch Netflix and Amazon and uh, YouTube or whatever other channels you want on the smart TV. Now to make this all work, we had to have electricity and we had to have internet. <clears throat> so we put in these things here to get those to happen. Um, you saw that we were plugged in before for electricity. Um, if you're not stopped and you don't have a plug and you need electricity, um, we put in an inverter, which takes the batteries and inverts the battery power to electricity. So while you're driving down the street, all these components can run. You can see back here, quite a few plugs, a lot of 110 electricity being used. Um, and that's throughout the whole motor home. So the inverter gets charged by the generator and then the uh and then or the the battery's getting charged by the 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 generator on the car and then the inverter inverts electricity from the batteries to 110 electricity so you always have electricity then that's half the battle you need electricity to be able to work uh remotely but you also need internet so the first piece to the internet puzzle is this box with the green light that's a booster it has an antenna um, on the outside of the motorhome, and the antenna sticks up high. It um, goes out 10 to 15 miles and will take any internet signal tower that it can find, and it'll boost it and bring it here to the motorhome. And then it takes that signal and sends it to this guy right here. First, I'll put this on. It shows that my batteries are full, and I have 13 point five volts being charged through there and so when I'm not plugged in and I'm using the inverter this shows me how much battery power I have going to or how much battery life I have so that uh, I don't run out of batteries going to this unit this is a hotspot by Verizon and uh, this is what's going to give us internet this takes the signal from the booster and turns it into Wi-Fi and to Ethernet. So it pumps out Wi-Fi, but it also has an Ethernet cable here that we um, routed throughout the RV and outside. <clears throat> that goes to here, next to where we sit, in case we're working inside. So we have Ethernet. And again, we can still use Wi-Fi, but we have the option of Ethernet or Wi-Fi this way. So that brings us in our internet, that gives us our power, and uh, this is just for elect, elect, uh, more electricity if we need to charge anything, like cell phones, what have you. These little guys go in our ears for when we ride our bikes so that we can talk to each other or listen to music. It's kind of a neat little thing while you're on the road. Um, if you want to tell someone or to turn left or right or what have you, we can communicate. So that's kind of neat. Let me go back here since I skipped it and show you this panel. This panel comes with the RV here and there's all kinds of things that it does. This uh, bottom one shows you how much propane you have and the next one shows you how full your batteries are. This shows you how much fresh water you have. That's the water that's stored under the bed. Now when we leave tomorrow we don't want to have a lot of water because that's a lot of weight and weight makes you go slower and costs a lot of gas so you'll keep that on empty till you get there and then you'll fill it up as you need it. Black is um, how much waste is in here, and we've been working on it, so we've been using the toilet a lot, it looks like. Gray is what comes out of your shower there, and that's another holding tank. So it has three holding tanks, black, gray, and galley. Galley is what comes out of your sink. And depending on where you're um, camping, you might let the galley water go water the bushes because it's not bad, but you certainly don't want to open up, say, the uh, black tank. Next to that here is another way to create electricity. So we can plug in as I showed you, or we can use the inverter. But with this button, it uh, turns on a generator. And I'll let the button go on, and I'm not sure if you can hear that, but the generator just started. Now, with the generator running, and it runs off the gas that's in the gas tank, so you always wanna keep a full gas tank, but it won't let you go to empty. Now you've got full 110 electricity without using your batteries or your inverter, and that would be good if you don't have a place to plug into that you need electricity so that you can, again, um, 
work remotely or have electricity or watch TV or whatever it is you want to do. Uh, if you're on battery only, this right here allows you to heat uh, the water with um, the water heater. This is your water pump. Um, if you're not hooked to electricity and you just have a battery and you don't even have an inverter um, or you're not on the generator but you need water, this will run just off 12 volt batteries. This says Arctic if you're up in the snow and um, you don't want your water tanks to freeze and your water lines, that's going to keep them warm so they don't freeze. These are your living room lights here. So these switches are your lights. This is the slide out. So I was talking about the slide out. I'll go ahead and give you a demonstration of that. So this is how this slides in. So when you're driving, it's much more narrow, as you can see. Um, but when you're parked, then you have it out and you have a lot more space. Last thing on this box here is a light for outside over the utilities that I can turn on from in here so I can see what I'm doing out there. Okay, I think I've given you a full tour of the inside of the motorhome where we're going to be living for three months. Um, if I forgot anything, I'm sure it'll show up in the camera here somewhere. But I think that's it. Okay, so that's pretty much the full tour. Um, don't think I forgot about much. Uh, we do have air conditioning in the RV and uh, that's going to help on the hot summer nights. Didn't mention that. Um, that's about it. I did mention during um, the tour that uh, my wife and I, we uh, are going to work remotely selling business cards. So we've been doing that for about 18 years. So if you need a big business card or even more importantly, if you work for someone or if you own a company that uses a lot of business cards, Please support us by going to printbusinesscards.com and you can design a new card there or click on the manage um, big screen or button and that is for large corporations to manage their business cards. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, our business really got cut back when uh, all this happened and uh, we're out promoting it and uh, building it back up again. So. If you can help us and support us by going to printbusinesscards.com, we'd greatly appreciate it. After a long take three, we're on take four. Should I do one without glasses? Do you think Bobby takes as many takes? No, your glasses look good. Yeah. I can't read it. <laughs> okay. Take four. You ready? Okay. This is a test. I am going to walk around here, try not to be in the sun. This is my car. That's my car right there. You see up there's the building. First time I've ever used a freaking selfie stick. Woo! 